is a, there's definitely the cultural question, there is the religious question as well, and then there is the question which I, th which I think is much more personal, maybe all of those factor in, which is, does, um, does it matter to a father to have his son look like him, which is, I hear, a, a one of the many reasons. It's one of the factors, I think. Um, How often do you hang out with your child and their penises, as, especially as adults? Well... I hear, I do hear that a lot. You, know, you want to talk about, you, you want to talk about the connection between a, a, a mother and a child? This is a connection between a father and a child. And if you want me to explain you it, I can. It is. An, hold on, hold on. You talked. It's an emotional connection, and, and emotion sometimes, sometimes either defies logic or it defies explanation. And in this case, this is a personal choice. I'm sorry, but I have to take issue when you equate fem the barbaric act of female gen uh, genital mutilation and the 4,000-year-old religious and cultural uh, uh, um, uh, circumcision of, of a man. They are not the same. Anything that I've ever read about female circumcision has been about abating and stopping women's sexual urges. And I have I've... to correct you again, because actually, in, in the U.S., this became a huge practice, in part because they wanted to curb boys' masturbation practices. So there is a connection there. Yes, I think we that, take it for uh, granted well, now. You can, you can talk about that from the medical standpoint of, of, of why it happened in the United States. I know that my wife Life is Jewish, and those traditions far uh, uh, outdate or, or, or um, are, are, are much older than the United States themselves. We're talking 4,000 years of tradition here. So and you can, you can put them in the same, you can conflate them, but that doesn't make it right.